Intel officially postpones Innovation 2024 event. Phantom Lake reportedly mobile only and Intel's Arrow Lake successor has already been named. Intel reportedly planning for 8-core Core Ultra 3 205 or 215 processor. And lastly, Intel Arc Battle Mage GPU has been spotted. Okay, so first of all, we have the article from PC Mac and they have reported about the Intel postponing their innovation event, which is the Innovation 2024. And according to Intel's official website, they have given us the update date for the innovation 2024 so according to intel they're saying that after careful consideration we have made the decision to postpone our intel hosted event intel innovation in september until 2025 so that indicates a very important aspect here which is innovation 2024 is an event for intel to basically showcase their latest technologies meaning that the latest cpu launch would, would be the intel arrow lake and now if they're canceling or postponing innovation 2024 until 2025 that is a clear indication that intel arrow lake will not be launching this year so they are basically delaying the launch of intel arrow lake cpu so we are not seeing any competition coming from intel right now so probably in the next five to six months intel will be completely silent about their new processor launch hopefully it has nothing to do with intel arrow lake s but innovation 2024 is entirely about intel's new launch so i'm guessing there is some kind of issues hopefully it's not like the current issue going on for intel about the raptor lake refresh having instability issues so hopefully intel arrow lake will not get the similar situation and next time we have some information about the panther lake and basically there was an argument on twitter x and we have some information about the panther lake and there was an argument about some info about ptl basically panther lake desktop and according to this user here job attack this replying is that panther lake will be mobile only and the the desktop will be the arrow lake refresh now of course the argument is about if it's a desktop only or mobile only and so we have a confirmation which is that jkin another user is reporting that sorry i saw the word mobile and filled it in no ptl is mobile only so panther lake will be mobile only but there is another information included with that is that next consumer desktop is gonna be not nova lake so the new name has emerged which is the nova lake that would be the successor of intel arrow lake or arrow lake refresh as we are also hearing that there will be the refresh of the arrow lake so there are plenty of things going on so let's look into the timeline of it so this is the whole timeline according to video cards here and we get to see this whole timeline which will be the lunar lake that would be also premium mobile we already know that but now we have the arrow lake that will be mobile and desktop both which will be coming now we know for sure that it's going to be launching in 2025 not 2024 as they have basically postponed it not sure if in a 2024 will have the information about the arrow lake processors but if it is then we can easily can tell that they're not going to be releasing in 2024 and now we have confirmation is that panther lake will be premium mobile meaning only mobile no desktop processors and as i said arrow lake refresh will also be coming somewhere around 2025 or maybe even 2026 who knows will be coming for the mobile and desktop and the novel lake we have no information about that just the name which will be the successor of the arrow lake refresh so just a heads up the whole timeline for the intel processors are very much confusing it's pretty much obvious why it's confusing because there are so many architectures that we have to look out for and this is the whole timeline for now that we have to see if this comes out true or not but also next up we have the intel arrow lake information and this time we have some information coming from raichu or one raichu later reported by video cards and as you can see this is the information we have which is it looks like it's called u3205 or 215 he's talking about basically about an 8 core ultra 3 processor which will be stronger as he mentioned stronger than i3 14 xxx meaning the i3 series of course so it's going to be core ultra 3 205 or 215 that's going to be the naming scheme they're going to be going for so of course if it's an 8 core processor meaning it's going to have four performance score and four efficiency core not like the traditional 8 core of course so you can already guess it's going to be a very low tier processor which is the core ultra 3 215 or 205 both are listed here because we are not not sure obviously that which one of them will be coming to the markets but yeah they are working for the ultra th core ultra 3 processors which will have 8 core and 8 threads and of course similar situation for the ultra 3 205 again nothing no other information has been leaked so this is the only information that we have now but it is going to be faster than the i3 traditional i3 processors question is how much faster we'll see about that and lastly we have the intel arc battle maze gpu that has been spotted this is an exciting stuff coming from 
battle maze because after so long intel gpu news will be coming and hopefully it's exciting because it is somewhat exciting so in a boot of information some information has been immersed about the intel battle maze so let's look into it so on a boot of information this particular user gav87 has extracted information which is the bmg 12 gigabytes 19 gb per second 456 gb per second bandwidth and 192 bit bus width so this is the actual physical size which translates to 12 gigs of vram so basically this particular gpu is gonna have 192 bit bus this indicates it's gonna be a mid-range gpu from the battle maze architecture because it's gonna have 192 bit bus we know 256 is gonna be the highest one i think so if that is the case it will be a middle tier gpu having 12 gigs of vram not only that we also have the 19 gb per second meaning the memory speeds is gonna be 19 gb per second or 19 gbps whatever you say and of course the bandwidth for the gpu will be 456 so for now these are the whole information we have for the intel arc battle maze which is these gpus that are confirmed to be launching soon obviously how many we don't know for sure but as you can see we have the bmg battle maze g31 g21 and hopefully there will be another g19 i think but it hasn't been listed yet so we'll see but for the arc b500 it's gonna be 14 xc2 stream processors or xc cores however you want to call that of course the memory we now know is the 12 gigs g6 19 gb per second of course it's gonna be g6 or g6x still unknown but for now we are assuming it's gonna be g6 and of course the bus which is 192 bit i guess the speed 19 gbps kind of tells you that it's gonna be g6 because other otherwise if it was using g6x the speed would have been higher than this clearly so the bus we're looking at 192 as i mentioned 256 is gonna be the highest bit bus so definitely 192 is in the middle range and yeah the bandwidth is also 456 and for the highest flagship which is going to be the b770 i don't think they're going to change the name but yeah for the b770 is going to be 608 but now we have the information for the b500 obviously which one we have no idea of course but these informations are pretty interesting because we're now getting some information about the battle maze architecture and hopefully we'll get more information about the battle maze architecture because we've seen this information already and this time i'm hoping that battle mage will be a good successor of the alchemist and at least we'll be able to compete with the current generation or the next generation gpus from either nvidia or amd